Good day fish tankers. Today we are here at the Department of Natural Sciences at the University of Stellenbosch, my old alma mater, where Tariq Lockday uh, set up and maintains a Southeast Asian biotope aquarium in the foyer here. It's a lovely big tank with lots and lots of fish and we're going to take a deep dive into this. If that's something you're interested in, then stick around. Now we can see it's a big tank, it's five foot long, 1.5 meters, and if I have to guess, it looks to be at least uh, two foot from back to front and from bottom to top, perhaps a bit more. And what is a biotope aquarium? That's an aquarium where all the fish and plants in the aquarium comes from one geographical area in the world. So these are all from Southeast Asia, so theoretically at least, they could all occur together in nature. And you can see the plants there, there's some water sprite. Look at the submerged growth, you always see that the leaf shape sort of changes to the, almost like carrot leaves to me, carrot tops. And then there's some java fern. And look what he's done here with the rocks flowing down into the smaller pebbles. And there we've got some Siamese algae eaters. They're still very small. I would love to check out this tank in six months, in a year from now then there will be a fish that will be quite a bit bigger like those Siamese algae eaters and there is a tiger lotus, I think, lily. Correct me in the comment section if I get the plants wrong. And also tell me if you've ever done a biotope aquarium, I'd be interested to know. And there's the good old Valles Neria sending out runners onto that sandy beach. And you can see we have massive show here of Holocon Rasboras as well as quite a few pearl garamis, as well as free spot garamis, both the blue and the gold variety. That's why I'm saying I would like to see this tank over time, because those garamis are going to be much, much bigger, as well as the Siamese algae eaters. And there in the middle is a shoal of glass catfish. It's very interesting to me to see how happy these glass catfish are in this environment. They've got some flow, there's a canister filter here, but it's, the, the secret is in the numbers. They've got retreats and hiding spots if they want to go away, but they're in big numbers and that makes them a lot more confident than I usually see them. And along with all the Quinras Boras, I'm sure you've noticed uh, cherry bobs, look at the filtration. There's an internal power filter providing some flow and then there is a canister filter with an inlet and outlets on opposite ends of a tank, so you get that circulation. Let's give you some perspective. It's a big tank. Usually you don't get shoals of smaller fish like, like these in these big tanks, but it's good that it's a big tank, because as I've said, those garamis and Siamese algae eaters are going to still put on quite a bit of size, and then it'll look spectacular. I must say, it's a good thing that I'm not a student and studying here because I'll park off in front of an aquarium all day, as is my habit. Now Stellenbosch has got very soft water, so that would be ideal for this sort of aquarium. I'm assuming Tariq doesn't change much on the water. There you can see there's an automatic fish feeder on top and then two bars of LED lights. You can see it's full spectrum on top of the aquarium. It's not Chihiros, it's not ADA, 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 it looks like the, and Tariq has also made these wonderful posters that the university will put up explaining what a biotope is and also something about invasive species and why it is bad. But I'm thinking that those lights are sort of a Chinese brands, the cheaper brands that I've got. Guys, you can see what nice view of the end of the tank, thanks Tariq for a tip. Please smack that like button if you like the content. I will greatly appreciate that. It helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you look at it down the side here, it almost looks endless as it goes on. And just look how happy the fish are. 
Guys, also please remember to share the content among your fishy groups. And please remember to subscribe. Thank you to everybody who has. We are topping 1,600 subscribers now. And this is a very good example of the next level on hobby. We all have community tanks as I do. I've got one species tank with the puffers in. But this is something different. This is not just your ordinary community tank. It's, it's sort of a community that you will find in nature, both plants and animals. It's, it's, a, it's a very nice ecosystem that he created here. You can see behind the rocks, the substrate is built up and it looks to me that there's a sort of an aqua uh, swell mixture in there. And that's it from me talking in this video. But it's such a nice tank, I'm going to hang out a little bit. And we're going to play some music and then you can enjoy the tank with me.